Hello everyone, welcome back from Halloween weekend. This is the first video of the week. How can we graph equations in standard form? Make sure you write that down in your notes or wherever you're taking your notes. And again, notes are not mandatory, but they're highly, highly, highly recommended in this class. So first, let's review what standard form is. And you did this last week with Ms. Perez, and you also did this in my class. I just didn't actually go over it. So the standard form of a linear graph is an equation. Um, is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are just numbers. So an example of this can be something like maybe 3x plus 6y equals 2, or anything like that where a is a number, b is a number, and c is another number. And why is this helpful? Well, that's where we're going to go look at this. If we look at this example, standard form of a linear equation is ax plus bx plus c equals c. Standard form is shown over here. Slope intercept form is shown over here. This over here is what we're used to and this is what we like because we have the slope right here and the intercept and this should all be reviewed. Standard form is all over the place and it's the one that we went over last week where you had to get y by itself. So let's say we want to get y by itself in this one to go from standard to slope intercept form. Subtract 6x, subtract 6x, rewrite that so you get 4y equals negative 6x plus 12. Over here, you could write 2 minus 6x, but I like keeping it like this because it's the same form as y equals mx plus b. Now, let me move this up a little bit. What would we do next? Well, we have a 4 times y over here. If we want to get y by itself, you divide everything by 4. So you get y equals negative 6 over 4x plus... Oh, that was a 12 right there. Sorry. Mistake. 12 over 4. Let's go ahead and simplify that a little bit more. y equals, over here we can divide the top and the bottom by 2, so you get negative 3 over 2x plus what's 12 divided by 4, 3. And here note that these two are actually the, oops, these two up here, this one and this one are actually the exact same thing, two different ways of writing it. Alright, so now we're going to get into what the essential question was actually asking for. And it's pretty much being able to graph something from standard form. And this equation up here, that one right there is standard form because you have ax plus by equals c. In this case, our 6 is a, our 4 is b, and our 12 is c. So step number one is what I usually always have everyone write down the equation. Write it down on your own piece of paper, on the whiteboard, wherever you're taking your notes or wherever you're writing stuff down. In my case, in this case, it's 6x plus 4y equals 12. Step two is find the x-intercept. Now, how am I going to do this? Well, let's look at this example graph over here. There's the line. When we're looking for the x-intercept, which is in this case, we're looking for the point where the line, the blue line, crosses the x-axis. Now the point is also when y equals 0. If you take a closer look, you know that this point is going to happen when y equals 0. And it's the case for any line. So for this case, let's plug in 0 for y. So you get 6x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. 4 times 0 is 0, so I can just leave that out. 6x equals 12. How can I solve for x? Well, you have 6 times x, so the opposite of multiplication is division. Division, divide both sides by 6. Write it over here. x equals 12 divided by 6 is 2. So let me plug that point. So we already know that the line is going to cross wherever the x-axis is on 2. So here's 1, 2. So the line is going to cross that. Now, third point, third step, you probably already guessed it, is to find the y-intercept. Now, how do you think we're going to do that? Let's look back at this one. To find the y-intercept, we want to find the point where the line crosses the y-axis. And just like the x-intercept, you want to find the point where x equals 0. So, plug in 0 for x, 0 times I mean 6 times x in this case is 0 plus 4y 
equals 12. 6 times 0 is also 0, so we can just leave that out to get 4y equals 12. How to get y by itself, you have 4 times y, so divide by so sides by 4. Then you get y equals 3. And that's our second point. We have x equals 2 and y equals 3. Where does y equal 3? 1, 2, 3. Right there. Step 4 is the easiest part. Draw the line. Connect the two points. Now we already have x equals 2 over here, y equals 2 right there. Connect those two points. And that's actually our line. So let's review everything that we just did. Again, the first step was write the equation in standard form. Pretty much just rewrite the equation under there. Second step, identify the x-intercept. So the x-intercept, whatever points you have, it's always going to be when y equals 0. So that's going to be your first, first point. Step 3 is identify the y-intercept. Similar to before, it's always going to be when x equals 0. And step 4 is connect lines and draw. So go ahead and pause the video. Make sure you go back to if you need to and start the classwork, which is going to be in the test slash quiz form below.